Samsung needs more than just the S Pen to make the Note 9 stand out from its own phones and the rest of the competition, and, luckily, all signs are pointing to something exciting for this year's release. The Note 9, said to be codenamed Crown, could have a massive 4000 mAh battery, and slightly larger 6.4-inch screen. Without a doubt, the Galaxy Note 9 is the Samsung's another bid, to rule the high-end Android market. This is a full preview of Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So, let us begin. Design The Galaxy Note 9 is likely to carry the same design language, as we have seen on the Galaxy Note 8, but with improvements from the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus, thrown in. That would mean a slightly thicker body, smaller bezels, and stronger metal on the sides. The S Pen will, of course, have a dedicated slot on the right corner of the phone. Needless to say, the Galaxy Note 9 will be water, and, dust resistant. The smartphone won't sport an iPhone X-like notch, which is still a divisive feature. There are also rumors the Note 9 will sport an in-display fingerprint scanner, just like the Vivo X20 Plus. This would allow you to unlock the device by placing your finger on a certain part of the screen. It would also give the back of the device a clean and less cluttered look. Fingerprint scanner related rumors are conflicting, so it could go either way. The Note 9 will also likely come with a headphone jack and may ship with a free pair of AKG headphones in the box, like its predecessor. Display According to the investor, the Galaxy Note 9's display will be larger than that of Note 8, but the difference will be so small that you'll hardly notice it. The smartphone is said to come with a 6.38-inch display, up from the Note 8's 6.32 inches. The screen should be curved on both sides and sport an 18 to 9 aspect ratio, like last year. No word on resolution for now, but we expect it to be the same as the one on its predecessor, performance. The Note 9 will probably be powered by the latest Snapdragon 845, or Samsung's own Exynos 9810 chipset, depending on the region, just like the Galaxy S9 series. Like the Note 8, the Note 9 will likely pack 6 GB of RAM under the hood, which means it will be able to handle anything you throw at it. There's a chance Samsung might bump up the RAM to 8 GB, but we doubt it, because 6 GB is still more than enough for a flagship these days. According to Ice Universe, the Note 9 will have a larger battery than its predecessor, possibly as large as 3850 mAh or 4000 mAh, up from 3300 mAh. Samsung has been playing it safe when it comes to battery sizes, since the Note 7 fiasco. Maybe it will finally close that chapter and take a step forward. Other specs and features expected, include 64 or 128GB of storage in the US, which, you'll be able to upgrade for an extra 400GB, via a micro SD card. Then there is facial recognition, an iris scanner, and the intelligent scan feature already seen on the Galaxy S9, which merges the two biometric options. Camera We expect to see a few improvements in the camera department. Like its predecessor, the Note 9 will probably come with a dual camera on the back, offering digital zoom and portrait mode. There's a good chance the camera will sport a variable aperture, like the S9 series, which is especially handy for low-light photography. The ability to capture super slow motion videos at 960 fps could make its way from the S9 to the Note 9. AR emoji feature, which lets you turn yourself into animated emoji with the help of the camera, could also cross over. OS The Galaxy Note 9 is expected to run Android 8.1 Oreo with Samsung's Experience skin on top. The smartphone could also launch with the much-anticipated Bixby 2.0 on board, which is an upgraded version of the company's digital assistant. Price The unlocked version of the Galaxy Note 8 launched with a $930 price tag in the US. 
The Galaxy Note 9's price remains a mystery for now, but we do know this, it won't lower. Samsung doesn't decrease the prices of its flagships, and we don't expect that to change, this year. In fact, the Note 9 could be more expensive than its predecessor. Release Date The Galaxy Note 9 may hit the shelves sooner than its predecessor, which was unveiled at the end of August, last year, and released on September 15. According to the investor, Samsung Display will kick off production of OLED panels for the smartphone in April, two months earlier than for the Galaxy Note 8. This means the Galaxy Note 9 could go on sale as early as July. The reason why Samsung may want to speed things up this year is to release its flagship before the new iPhone generation hits the market. As usual, that's expected to happen in September. Nothing has been confirmed yet. It's possible Samsung will stick with the same strategy as last year, which proved successful, based on the Note 8's sales numbers. The Note 9 could be announced at an unpacked event, sometime in August, before going on sale in September, we don't expect to see it any later than that. This was a full preview, of the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Please tell us 